Grace and peace as we teach to the heart, the heart of who we are. So scientifically, what I learned um, <laughs> that sure didn't put a whole lot of pressure on me, I'm lying. Apparently, everything that we're going to know, we learn before we're six years old, and then part just kind of <laughs> they said, think of it as jello. You get it in there, and then it kind of hardens over, and then everything else just kind of is added around. And, you know, as a mom, I'm thinking, you've got to be kidding me. Um, so it's like that, only no. But, okay, as I'm living, I'm thinking, all right, I didn't need to know quantum mechanics, because sure, shooting, I didn't get that in there before I was six, but I can figure out how to look that up. But before I was six, I learned kindness and sharing and all of that essential stuff. And in the moment, I can't look that up. So it makes sense, much like the book of Ruth, where do I find that? Well, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, right? But what's in the book of Ruth? The teaching of kindness and love and faithfulness. You need to know that stuff. You don't have to know how to recite books of the Bible. Got it. Well, as an adult, we sometimes want to be able to go more deeply than that. So other than quoting everything I needed to know I learned in kindergarten, I would fall back on, say, Parker Palmer's Let Your Life Speak, which is one of my favorite, favorite books. And no, I didn't read it before I was six years old. You've got to be kidding. I found it somewhere in my 20s, I think. And it's a book that I turn to every few years, um, and I'm able to read a page or two at a time. And in chapter one, Listening to Life, um, Parker Palmer quotes William Stafford's poem, Ask Me, right? Sometimes when the river is ice, ask me mistakes I've made. Ask me whether what I have done is my life. If even those first two sentences seem absurd to you, this is not a book for you. But if those first two sentences in this poem kind of tease at you and intrigue you, this might be a book for you. Parker Palmer is writing, looking for whether the life that he is living is the life that wants to live in and out of him. It's an authenticity quest. It's about listening to your life and listening to the choices you've made and the way in which your journey is unfolding. It is an adult perspective into everything you learned, you learned in kindergarten. That kindness, that lovingness, that questioning. Is it the way you're following as a follower of the way? It's a powerful book that calls to all of those things that were taught to me early on and that I seek as a teacher later on. So it calls to my heart and I listen to the echoes that return to me. I recommend it to you if you are intrigued or I recommend that you listen to tomorrow's devotion to hear what my colleague has to say.